All right, this video is to convert from first gen CTSV brakes like these to the V2 six pistons. What I did to drill a rotor, I just had an SRX hub laying around. So you can use that, pop the, uh, pop the lug studs out and use that. Or you can take a V1 rotor like so. And just matched it up, made some marks, drilled the six lug holes, but the center hole has to be drilled out using a lathe. I had a machine shop do it. Uh, the spec is 70.612. Drill that out and then it will become hub centric. And then you don't have to worry about these holes here being oblong. As far as all the parts you'll need, obviously two V2 calipers, set of brake pads. I have a set of used ones laying around, so peasantry at its max. Uh, these rotors were also used, one piece, drilled, and I just put them on the brake lathe. Uh, you're gonna need caliper mounting bolts, part number right there, 14 millimeter or 916th drill bit. I think this was 15 bucks on Amazon. Uh, obviously a drill brake fluid I use that for cutting oil and then Loctite forgot to also add that hardware kit is needed this was actually only 20 bucks on Amazon there's a the part number right there uh, through my work it was like a hundred bucks so Amazon's definitely the way to go on there um, so I'm gonna get to taking this caliper off and I'm just gonna hang it that way I'm not dripping fluid everywhere all right, here is your basic V1 caliper mounting bolt, and here's the one for the V2. And this is why you need the 14 millimeter drill bit to drill your two mounting bracket holes. But right there you can see the size difference. Now it fits. All right, got both holes drilled. And I'm just going to clean the shavings out and make sure it's nice and clean. Then I'll get the rotor mounted up and then we'll install the caliper and pads. Alright, this is what the rotor looks like all mounted up. I opted to not drill the hole because I don't really need it. Just use a lug nut. <laughs> so, alright, let's get the caliper put on. Try to get a view from the back here. And I'll start wrenching on these. Both V1 and V2 have 18 millimeter heads, so no need to switch tools there. I'll get this tightened down real quick and we'll keep going. All right, I just ran into something that I was not expecting. Using the stock bolts, if you can see, tightening it all the way it's gonna hit the rotor. So we need to trim these bolts down a little bit. All right, I ended up cutting off about four, four and a half threads. Uh, we'll see if this works. All right, well, I finally got this side all mounted up after the whole incident with the bolts. Uh, I just measured threads. I cut up about four and a half off, but uh, if you measure from the bottom of the washer to the end, it's 45 millimeters. And then I just ran a M14 by 2 tap down them. And I'm going to put Loctite on them before I install them because I took all the factory stuff off. All right, here's to show you that cutting off four threads work so the rotor can spin freely. All right, guys, I was doing a brake job on an Escalade today, and I found out that. Escalade mounting bolts are already the size that you need. This one is off of a 16, but I think they're all the same back to 2014 or so. I can double check, but the part number for those is right here. These ones you do not have to cut. All right, now that we got the pads, rotors, calipers, all the hardware installed, 
I left my old calipers here, just chilling, and I'm going to swap the brake lens over as fast as I can, bleed them, and then we should be good to go. Also, don't forget uh, wheel weight position with these brakes. They don't have a lot of clearance, so double check when you do this that your wheel weights are out of the way of hitting the calipers. All right, here's a view of the brake lines on the driver's side, uh, V1 lines fit, and I hope if you're doing this, you already have stainless lines. So I'm just gonna bleed it, put the wheels on, and good to go. All done.